Hi FossTube, it's Brie here with Brie's Stitch and Stuff, and welcome to my channel about cross stitch. It's July 9th, 2020. This is floss tube number 16. <sighs> Crazy, so welcome back. Um, I haven't made a floss tube in a little bit. My last video was a whip parade, which was a blast to make and so much fun. I think you guys enjoyed it too. Um, it really helped me see everything that I have that I need to stitch and finish. And it's really hard because I really, really, really like starting stuff and kidding up projects. And um, it's turning into a problem. <laughs> and I just need to finish stuff. I just need to get them done and I'll be a happy camper. So I am going to talk a little bit about life updates and some finishes and some whips and a tiny bit of haul. Um, but I really want to thank you guys so much for your continued support and letting me be part of your day. Um, I've been having so much fun getting to know people through instant messaging, um, Instagram, comments, emails, all that kind of fun stuff. It's been truly an amazing journey that I am so grateful that I am a part of and I just want to thank you guys for that. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you have a good time watching my video and get some kind of inspiration from me because that is my goal is to inspire people to learn a hobby, especially cross stitching, and to support your local shops and your designers. So welcome to my video. I hope you stick around. And if you like what you see, I hope you um, subscribe and follow me over on Instagram so I can get to see what you're working on as well. So I'm gonna do a quick little life update um, just because I haven't talked to you guys in so long it feels like. I feel like I haven't made a video where I actually talked to you guys in a while. So um, it's summer, right? Um, we are in, I'm in Illinois. It's hot and humid and gross and I hate it. I don't like this weather at all. If it was fall and winter all year, I would be the happiest person ever, but it's not where we live. It's hot. So we are hanging out inside a bit more and just, you know, surviving. My yard needs some loving, but I'm not going out there until the humidity goes away. So <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bother my neighbors too bad. Um, and last week on the 4th of July. Ah, I can't believe it. It's so crazy. Um, all of our fireworks were canceled here where we live. Um, so we didn't have that, which was really strange. But I got together with my, my family. So my, my, my parents, my siblings, the cousins, aunts, uncles, all them. Um, they, my parents live a town over. So we went over there, we did the outside party, you know, everybody brought some food, drinks, um, and we got to go some swimming, because my mom has a pool. But it's really hard, because I'm a big hugger. Are you guys huggers? I'm a big hugger. Um, I will hug a stranger if I get a good vibe from them. <laughs> so it's really hard to see people that I haven't seen in so long, and not be able to like hug them and kiss on them. So um, that was a really weird, a weird thing when we got together that I couldn't just hug everybody but it was so great seeing everyone and talking and spending some time with them and then this weekend my sister-in-law is getting married ah! so tomorrow we're heading up to Michigan my in-laws live in the St. Joe area um, so my sister-in-law Quinna uh, she had planned this big huge beautiful wedding at a barn but it is going to be postponed. But her and her sweet fiance, Colin, wanna still get married this weekend. So my in-laws suggested just to get married in the backyard and that's what they're gonna do. So we're just all gonna get together and hang out. Um, I'm super excited. My husband is the oldest of six. So there are a lot of people and people are starting to have kids. And this will be number five out of six that have gotten married. So our family on that side is growing crazy and it's just, it's really nice getting together with them. Um, all the sisters are getting together tomorrow to do like a little mini bridal shower bachelorette thing because our original plans got canceled. So we're just doing a little thing, you know, for her tomorrow night. So it'll be, it'll be so much fun. Um, and that's it on life update. So let's get into cross stitch because that's what we're all here for. Um, I have three finishes, you guys, three. That's insane. Um, so I'm going to show you those first because I'm super excited about them and then we'll move into my whips and haul. Okay? Does that sound good? Okay. So the first one I have is this cutie. Um, so this is called Vintage Glory Cross Stitch. 
Um, the designer is Erica over at Confessions of a Homeschooler. Um, this is actually her very first cross stitch design. The actual chart is much bigger. I just took a part of it and made it into a cute sweet little pillow. There's I think three rows and it's um, this house and this truck kind of alternated throughout with these sweet little quilt blocks and the um, little grass borders. Um, I stitched this on an 18 count Ada that I writ dyed myself and I used similar colors to what she used but her chart called for all DMC and I switched over to uh, most of them are Weeks Dye Works. I think this white I kept with the DMC color but everything else, oh and I think the tires, but everything else is a Weeks Dye Works color. And I just turned it into a nice little pillow to sit on my, um, you know, shelf or whatever. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love the variegation in the um, blue. That's Weeks Dye Works um, Michael's Navy. That is probably my favorite blue um, that I've worked with so far. Um, it's just a really good patriotic blue. And that red, it's Merlot by Weeks Dye Works. Um, again, it's just, they're just good, um, patriotic colors. Hang on, I need a sip of water. My throat's a little dry. Do you guys have bad allergies? My allergies have been awful. Um, I just can't even handle it anymore. So, that is the first one. I don't have a cover sheet for it. Um, I just downloaded it. It's a PDF. Um, but I'll leave a link below for her website where you can find them. Um, but yeah, she has, I think, two cross-stitch patterns now. And this is actually based off one of her quilt patterns. So I thought that was kind of cool. If you're looking to learn how to, like, sew or quilt, she does awesome tutorials over on her YouTube channel. Um, go check her out. Like I said, her name's Erica. She's great. And she's such a good a good person. Um, she's really kind. And um, she's a really good teacher. Very, like, relatable in teaching. So my next one I finished, you guys, this is so great. So Julie over at Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World decided to start designing. Like, yeah, let's work full time and cross stitch and now let's design cross stitch and read 8,000 books a day. She did it and they're fantastic. So her um, design company, I guess is what you would call it, is um, Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. Um, she is working, uh, her, like, patterns are on, um, I think it's, hang on, I just want to double check, Gum Road. So basically what she said is um, she can put the PDFs up on there, and they're all free, um, but you can donate money to, like, the artist um, in, like, an appreciation type of thing. Like a good tip. So she didn't want to hinder anybody from getting her patterns by the cost, so she gives them away for free. And they're amazing. She has four charts right now. So she has three houses and they're um, Christmas in Nantucket. I think Christmas in Nantucket, I believe. They're beautiful and their houses um, based on houses in Nantucket. They're awesome and they just have like small Christmas um, accents into them. It's not like glaring Christmas. It's like a wreath or like a little tree type of thing. They are beautiful. And then she has another one that I stitched and it's called Salty 24-7. And it's this! <laughs> I love it. It was such a fun and quick stitch. I did this in like two or three days. It was really, really nice and easy. Um, Carla over at Rolodex Stitches was one of Julie's um, model stitchers and she showed this on her last floss tube and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally have to get that. That border are soft pretzels, you guys. Isn't that genius? I love it. Um, that is Weeks Dye Works Tiger Eye, and it's like the perfect pretzel color. Ugh. I found out, I met a border person. I have several mistakes up here, and I've ripped them out so many times, and then I just decided that I don't care anymore. I'm just going to go with it. So I'm sure there's a mistake in there, but they all matched up, so it worked. <laughs> <laughs> but I bought just a frame from the store and I cut a piece of mat board to frame it out and I stuck this on my husband's um, desk for his home office. So yeah, <laughs> I love it. So cool. That was, it was a really fun one to stitch too. And then the last one I stitched is a wedding present for my sister-in-law. So if you are watching Quinna, close your eyes for a minute if this is before your wedding because I don't want to spoil it. 
Um, it's Lizzie Kate, A Good Marriage. I know you guys have seen me working on this because I've been trying to get it done for the wedding this week. Um, so real quick, it's 18 count Ada that I stitched it on, that I writ dyed in my own colors um, of DMC. I did similar, um, just whatever I had on hand is what I went with. And this is how it turned out. I love it. I'm really, really happy with the finish. Um, so what I did was I found this frame at Joanne Fabrics and there was a mat in it, but it had like three cutouts for like four by six pictures. So obviously that wasn't going to work. And I don't have like an actual like mat board cutter to get like that nice, like beveled edges. So I ran over to Hobby Lobby and asked them to cut a mat, um, for me for a picture. And so they did that. So that's also an option too. If you have a frame, but it doesn't totally fit your stitched piece and you need a mat for it just to kind of help bring it all together check like your local stores that do framing and see if they can just cut the mat for you it was 11 dollars, so it was a little bit pricier than i thought it was going to be to get a piece of mat cut but it was still not bad um but yeah <laughs> you guys i'm so excited i'm so happy it turned out and that it's finished in time <sighs> and i just i'm really really proud of it and then i just put um a nice little note on the back for them um, that, you know, my date that I stitched it, where I stitched it, um, and just like a little passage for them. So those are my finishes. <sighs> it feels good to finish, right? It's like, you can breathe a little bit. Now back to my, I had like 21 whips in my whip parade and I'm still at 21 whips, I think, because I started more. Um, but that's okay. This is like this hobby is for fun, right? Like it's just supposed to like keep us going and keep our mind, you know, freeing. So I am not really doing a whole bunch in Jolly July. I if you've been around for a while, I don't do a lot of seasonal stitching because if I'm gonna take the time and spend the money on stitching, I want it to be in a project that I can see all year. So I don't do a ton in seasonal. But I decided I did want to do a couple um, little pieces I had um, in my stash. So the first one I want to get going, I haven't started it yet, but I do have a chunk of fabric for it. It's Country Cottage Needleworks Love is in the Air. I won this chart on um, Kimberly's um, floss tube channel. I'll link her down below. And she even sent like all the floss with it and even some finishing fabric. So I'm going to do this one for Jolly July. And also this one, which is Lizzie K. Wanted Santa 2002. I can't remember where I found this. It might have found it on 1, 2, 3, Switch. I don't know. I've got it last year at some point. And it comes with the little buttons. Um, I'm going to do all the called for colors um, in DMC. But the face, I think I'm going to change the face tone just because this one, it just looks really pink when I pulled the, the color um, from my stash that it calls for. It's really pink. So I have a Stitch People book that has several different skin colors. Um, so I'm just going to pull one from that and put it in there. So, and this is my start on that one. That is where I've gotten I really, I'm really enjoying this one. It's really fun. This tree is super cute. Um, I'm stitching this on a Fortnite Fabrics fabric. It's 32 count even weave in the color Morale. This was one of their Fabric of the Month colors. Um, and I'm going to do the Love is in the Air one on this piece as well. Because it, it's just a really pretty neutral um, that really helps like the white colors pop nicely on it. So, um, yeah. So that is one of my whips. And then another one that I got going on is Lindy Stitches. Um, she is doing a free mystery sale in her newsletter. So two weeks ago, she released the first part of the sale in her newsletter. And then last Friday and then tomorrow will be the final part of her sale. And um, if you sign up for her newsletter and get the, you know, new, the newest um, newsletter edition or whatever, it will have all the parts in it together. So this is, this is where I got. So the first part was the girl, and the second part was the words and the reins. Um, I'm just using whatever I have in stash, and then this is just a, a leftover piece of um, fabric I had from my um, autumn cap by embroider, or Al Forest Embroidery. 
So I'm using similar colors, like the dress and the pattern is a purple, the leggings are white, and the shoe is black. Um, I think the skin color, I didn't have the DMC color, so I used a Weak Style Works color for it that was like almost exactly the same, and then the dark brown for the hair, super precious, and then the wording, um, I think I ended up using 310 actually um just because my background is a little bit darker and then tomorrow we'll have the last piece to it so it's a real quick and easy sale which i love i'm not a big mystery sale person because sometimes they tend to like drag on and i just can't keep up with it so like three parts i can i can for sure keep up with that so i am so excited for tomorrow if you're over on lindy stitcher's facebook group um, people are you know talking about like what this is, what is she writing on, what's going on, what is she playing. I named a little girl the first week I got her um, the chart and I was stitching her. Um, I named her B. That's my name for her. Um, but yeah, I really can't wait to see um, what ends up happening. It's like a little story unfolding. Um, Stephanie has a few hashtags that she wants people to use when she's doing this. So hashtag Lindy Stitches, which if you do any of her charts, just hashtag that because they're all there. And then I want to read off of my paper so I don't get them confused. So the other one is hashtag diversity and inclusion sale. And the other one is hashtag representation matters sale. I will leave um, those down below so that you guys can follow along and start posting in there um, with whatever you see fit. It's been really fun watching um, what people are posting on those hashtags. I love hashtags. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world and it took me probably until this year to figure out how they even work. <laughs> I am not like, sorry my foot fell asleep. Um, I am not um, real cool with all that kind of thing. <laughs> So next I have, so I told you I had some haul. So I have haul and another whip to go with my haul. Um, I have been watching Pam and Steph on Just Keep Stitching and Kia over on Kia B and Liz Matthews with Hello from Liz Matthews. Those three are buddies. They're like friends and they talk and hang out and do stuff. And the girls have been stitching on 40 count. And I'm like, I want to be that cool and be a part of the 30s crowd and stitch on 40 count because, yeah. So, I did. I contacted Steph, actually, and just said, hey, what brand of fabric should I get in 40 count that will work really good for a newbie? And she gave me information, and she was super sweet, super helpful. Um, I just loved it. So... I contacted my LNS um, Inspire Needle and ordered a couple different chunks of 40 count. So the first one I got was Weeks Angel Hair in 40 count. And this is a real pretty um, buttery yellow kind of color. I really like it. There's not really any modeling to it at all. It's pretty, pretty flat. There's a little bit, but not, not a bunch. And this one, so Steph said the Weeks is good because um, the fabric isn't real tight, like the weave isn't too tight, so it's easy to find the holes and get your, you know, when you're counting, you can kind of move around and find the holes. You're not going to be able to tell, but you can kind of see. So it's a little bit more, it's not of a tight of a weave for this one. The next one I got, which I think is one of the ones that Steph told me not to get, but I got anyway because I like the color, and it's hand dyed by Steph. Um, in parchment. So that's a really pretty, it's showing up pretty good. In, in, like, in my lighting where I'm at right now, there's a little bit more of, like, a peachy undertone than what's showing up. But that, this one has some really nice modeling in it. I just thought this would be a good one, um, for anything, really. It's very neutral. So this one, because, right, I think orange is Weigart. And I think she said that's one of the harder ones to work with because it's real tight, which it is. Like, the weave is super tight um, compared to the weeks. But I just, I figured I was ordering one. I might as well order another one and just have it on hand um, for if I wanted to work on it. And then I ordered some floss to go with this chart that I found at my other local needle workshop, which is tomorrow's heirlooms. And this has been on my, like, mental wish list forever. Little House Needleworks Bessie. She's so stinking cute. So I got all the floss for that and I am stitching it on 40 count. 
It's going to be teeny tiny and super cute and precious, and I love it. Hang on, let me fold it so you can kind of see a little bit better. Um, I didn't get very far. I just wanted to play with the 40 count, so I just, one night I kind of put it together, and that's what I started working on. So I'm doing one thread, or one strand of floss over two threads. I'm still trying to figure out the wording on how to talk about cross-stitch. You would think I'd have it down by now. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I don't know. It just, it's really fun. It was really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I've been stitching on 32 count Lugana and some 32 count linen. Um, and this was a really easy transition. I do stitch in hoop. So I don't know if that helps um, work on the smaller counts because it kind of holds the fabric flat and you can kind of see the holes a little bit easier. And I do have some like good lighting. I have an alt light in my living room. Um, so I do have some good lighting. But I didn't need a magnifier or any different kind of glasses or anything like that. I normally wear glasses. I stopped wearing in my videos though because they leave a big glare when I watch the video back and it drives me crazy. Um, but I didn't need anything extra to see what I was stitching on this one. So I really, really like it. And those little X's are so precious. Do you guys ever cross stitch and you're looking at your stitching and you're like, damn, this is looking good. Um, I was watching Calculated Stitcher, I believe, and she talks about her love of using one floss when she's stitching because the X's lay so much nicer. And she's, she's right, they do. They look really good, like really good. I've done a couple pieces, um, with one floss but the one floss on the 40 oh man it they're just like I don't know they're pretty so yeah I'm really loving the 40 count if you're like contemplating trying it just do it because they're really cute and in my head because the count's so small you can get smaller chunks of fabric or you can get bigger chunks of fabric and stitch more stuff on it right like that makes sense. <laughs> and my other haul was my June fabric from Fortnite Fabric. I'm not even going to attempt to read that or see what it says. Um, it is so pretty. It has like a nice like bluish green kind of coloring to it. And of course they're beautiful modeling. Other fabrics have such pretty modeling. Um, and it's like that nice thick, thicker weight fabric. Um, so if you like that thicker fabric, their fabric is definitely worth giving it a try. If you're looking for a fabric of the month, I believe they still have openings. Um, and their communication is really good. Like right now they're having some issues with some of the fabric cuts coming in in different counts because like suppliers just don't have it. They just aren't keeping able to keep up with the demand. Um, so they've been really good about communicating like, hey, we don't have this count right now. It's running behind, which is awesome. I love when companies communicate with you and let you know what's going on. Um, and then, that is it. I don't have anything else, right? That's all I have, you guys. It's all my cross stitching, all my haul, all that fun stuff. Um, I haven't been watching a ton of floss tube because Carla got me hooked on Schitt's Creek. Anybody else watching it? I am in love with that show completely and entirely. I binge watched season one through season five in like a week and a half. It's craziness. And I don't have cable, so I have I don't have the season six to watch yet because um, it's not on Netflix yet. So I love it. And um, I can't stop watching it. <laughs> but I have real quick, I was watching um, Beautiful Clarity, which is a floss tube channel. And the couple videos that I did watch, they're kind of like a stitch with me type setting for her video. But she gave the greatest suggestion of, so you can change the speed of your video on when you're watching YouTube channels. And if you speed it up, you can watch more videos in less time. So that's genius because there are so many videos that I want to watch. My, my list is getting so long of people that I like watching and want to watch um, that it's hard to be able to keep up. But now that I've like, started doing that, I'm getting through videos so much quicker. Um, so if you don't mind listening to people talk fast, that's definitely an option. Um, but yeah, I didn't even think about that, which is silly because my husband, lives, he listens to podcasts, and he, that's what he does with his podcast. He puts it on a faster speed. 
so we can get through more of the, the more of the um, content. But I didn't think about that for YouTube. I don't know why. So, um, but I like her videos too. Beautiful Clarity. I'll leave a link below. Um, but yeah, definitely keep supporting your designers and your local needle workshops. Um, just so that we can keep the cross stitch community thriving because it's been such an amazing um, addition to my life. Um, adding in cross stitch. I was actually having um, a conversation with my husband the other night because I was cross stitching and he's like Why are you so obsessed with cross stitching all of a sudden? And I'm like, I don't know It just does good stuff to my brain and makes my heart happy. I'm not sure why I just And I like being able to sit with my family while I'm still doing something with my hands but um I hope that you guys enjoyed the video today and thank you for letting me be a part of your day. I hope you got some stitching time in too while you were here. Um, yeah, and then I don't know if I mentioned it. I did that D-Stash giveaway and one person hasn't gotten back to me. Amy Moak, M-O-A-K, if you can please contact me so I can get this shipped off to you. Um, I have my email below and you can even message me over on Instagram if you want so I can get your address. Um, if I don't hear from you by the next time, I'm going to pick a different winner. Everybody else has um, been shipped off. So thank you guys for getting back to me as quickly as possible because I like being able to get things out of my house. So I hope everybody gets some good stitching time in and you get to spend some time with the people you love, the people that make you happy, that make your heart sing. And until we see each other next time, you guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay calm. Bye!